the words of God from Pastor John Cadre of Sovereign Lord Worship, World Light International Church, Ibadan, Nigeria. I want you to enjoy the show and I want you to also call all your friends to listen to this word of God. It is very, very important. It's a Sunday. Pastor John Cadre is making his debut today on AWA Radio. Enjoy. I want to welcome everyone. I don't want this person. I already you see. Thank you for your a lifetime time with the Word of God. I follow with Pastor John Cadbury of One Life International Church, also known as Sovereign Lord Worship Center in Baghdad, and yesterday Nigeria. Praise the Lord. I strongly believe in the Word of God, that the Word of God has the capacity to change lives and affect the sin possibility. That is what I will be bringing to you from this segment that we post today on IR Radio UK. The word of God has ability inherent in it to turn life around and constitution around, to enlighten, to guide, to guide. So the word of God will be rich here with power. Bible said that Jesus was taking on this. Because the power of God is there to heal. So I believe as I'm speaking now, for as many as we believe, the power of God will reach them in the mighty of Jesus. So essentially we are going to be taught dealing with the word of God. Because that is the most essential thing in the Christian world. The word of God. When Jesus came down as a flesh, and Bible said everything he do, they said so that this the prophecy can be fulfilled. He was taking a way to this. After I was became mad, I was looking out to kill him. And later he brought him back. And I was say because of Joseph who was afraid, because the son of God had come to power. He said he moved to Nazareth. And that was a so that it can be fulfilled. And that which was written. That God will bring something out of Nazareth. Praise the Lord. Even the same thing was the cross. It was prophesied. It was also the world. So Jesus came to leave the world. And that's why everything went to everything. He was able to fulfill the spirit. Any man that proposed in his act to leave the world, to give the world, to eat the world, to drink the world, and not the as possible living in life. Praise the Lord. Now, the question now is, why is the word of God so powerful? What is in the word of God that makes it the all one solution to every issue of faith? Why is the word of God, why can we depend on it? Why is the program like this that brings the word, the light of God, across people? Why is this so important? We are saying on AIO Radio International UK. And also I say I'm uh, John Cadre, speaking from World Light International Church in Adam. Praise the Lord. Why is God God so powerful? No, no, no. God's word is God himself. And that was in John chapter 1 verse 1. Even in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So the word of God is not just the reason, it is a person. The word is a person. So when you are dealing with the word of God, you are having a dealing with Jesus himself. And for Jesus, for God, there is nothing impossible. No impossible case. So today I declare to you, I said be glad, because there won't be any impossible case in your life in the mighty of Jesus. Now, number two, why is this word of God so powerful? Why can we depend on this word of God? God's word is God's creative too. 
in Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 to 3, by the way, just understand this. He said, in the beginning, God created the heavenly earth, and the earth was without form, and white, and that earth was upon the face of the day. And then the Spirit of God was moving around the day, over the waters, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. God's word is God created to, to bring solution to the problems of men. God's word is God created to, to bring triumph from fire, to bring testimony out of death. And that is exactly what God is going to do in your life and time, in the mind of children. In Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3, by the way, as I said there, it is true faith we understand that the world is framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. That means the word of God has a creative ability. It has a capacity to create what everyone wants. Do you want joy? The word of God is able to create your joy. You, 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 you want to be right in your area? The word of God is able to create it for you. And God is saying it right now. And I think that word, the creative tool of God, all the things that are for your good. In the mind of Jesus. I said, I give peace right now to the family trouble. In the name of Jesus, be still. That storm will have in your home, your marriage. I said, keep be still. That business that is not going the way you want it. I said, from now on, begin to make work. In the name of Jesus. Because the word of God is coming forth. And the word of God is God speaking to too. And I see that was working for you. That was the woman who was bring peace. In the world where there's no peace. You listen to the news. You, you hardly can get 50% good news. It's all the issue here, issue there. Locally, internationally. But I will tell you, that word said unto us. He said, in what you have tribulation. And we are good shit. I will overcome the world. That means that world is able to keep you at peace. In a world that is void of peace. Number three. Why is the word of God so powerful? God's word can go on the mission. And that's what the God law is doing now. To every instant. On higher international radio UK. That word is going to reach for you. The Bible says in Psalm 107, verse 20, it says, He sent His word and hear them. And that same word delivered them from the destruction. Praise the Lord. That word is being sent for right now. And I see healing happening. I see deliverance taking place in the mighty word Jesus. That long age habit that keeps you down. I said that habit is broken now. The power that is controlling that in your life is broken now. In the name of Jesus, you are set free and you are set loose in the mighty name of Jesus. You now, there was a time a young man had an accident far away in Abuja, that's the capital of Nigeria. I, I was in a battle, and a family friend, a sister-in-law to that person, called me from Lagos. He said, ah, sir, uh, please don't be annoyed and call me so late in the night. I said, there's no problem. I know there's an issue. So, don't speak. He said, I just said now that my the brother-in-law had an accident. So, I said to her, uh, have you spoken to the young man? He said, that is the problem. He said, people are the accident they see. They said to me, he said, if you know how to pray, you better pray now. 
Because the poor is still, is, there's no voice, there's nothing happening. It's just still. You know? So they encourage the woman. They say, if you know how to call on God, call on God. So they woman call me. I told her, I said, no problem. Who will pray right now? And I called my back up to my wife. I said, see, there's an emergency. We need to call God now. And we, as we begin to pray, God sent his word to me. From first Samuel chapter 2, verse 6. He said, and the Lord that came, and we kept alive. And the then I came from that word. He said, as then does not keep. Because as the one that came, and we kept alive. Meaning, if I didn't find somebody to go, no matter what happens, the person will not go. If I desire to somebody still or left, no matter all the forces, I want to take that person away. Uh, they will fail. So I put on my phone. I called the woman that called me. I said, just God spoke. From first Samuel, chapter 2, verse 6. That is the one that killed the one that made it alive. The husband does not kill. So I said, that young man is a liberal for God. And God said, he said, many are called. Few are the neighbor of that, oh, that, that, that show he So he's not ready to kill somewhere that is used to him. So I said, the boy is not dying. No, maybe I'll try it. I said, I'll switch on to pray, though. No? I'll stop praying because God has done it already. Later, we got on phone again. And she said, he said, praise God. I've just spoken to him now. He's talking. He's alive. So the word of God can go on a mission. At that time, there's no way I will jump for me, brother, to Abuja. Even if I have any magic one to use on me. And I don't even have magic one. What I have is the word of God. It's the authority that God gives me. That when I forbid something on earth, it shall be forbidden in heaven. And when I lose something on earth, it shall be lost in heaven. And that's what he said to me. That when I pray in the name of Jesus, Whatever I ask, he will do it for me. So the word came. And we sent the word on the mission. And the word went and wake up the guy. said, you know, young man, it's not time for you to go. So the word can go on the mission. And I see that word going on the mission right now. Affecting your life. Affecting your ways. Affecting your finances. Affecting your family. Affecting everything that pertains to you. In the name of Jesus. We are in a I your radio international. UK. And the person that is speaking bringing this word of life to you is Pastor John Cadric of One Life International Church. He got that. And shortly you have the opportunity to call me if you desire me to speak a word of prayer. Uh, and the number you call to the studio line. You can call to 4479-311-78486 for those in UK. And for those in Nigeria, you can call 234-90-2455-3788. So when the time comes, uh, you start calling. Now let me go back to what we are discussing. We are discussing why is this word of God so powerful. Number four, God's word can affect any part of a man's life or destiny. God's word has the ability to affect any part of a man's life, physically, spiritually, emotionally, God's word can touch a man wherever he wants him in the mind of Jesus. April 4, 12, says, For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any sword of sword, getting even to the divine of the of the soul and spirit. And that same word, the Bible continues to say, is the designer of the thoughts and intent. So that word can go into any part of the body and begin to touch. If you are there, my brain is saying no to you. I pray in the name of Jesus. 
And they said, my man, there is God in the name of Jesus. The God of God said, in Psalm 18, verse 4, four. He said, strangers are here, my boy. And they shall run out of the ancient places. Everything unwanted in your body is a stranger. But I said, from the beginning was not so. God didn't create you with that problem, with that a challenge. So I speak to you like that. From the authority of the world, that when I say it, the Lord will back it. I said to you, I said, that's a challenge. They saw this moment. In the name of Jesus. Going further, they are studied on the path word of God. The five points. God was God's word is a carrier of joy. Do you remember the same as the same thing? He said that word was found, and I did eat them. And the word was unto me, the joy and the joy to your mouth. Because I am called of that. Then, who oh God of us? He said, I found that word, that word of God, that unchanging word of God. That word that was tried seven times. And came out clean. That word that is the A I and mean, That word the Bible says in Isaiah 40 verse 8. It says the grass may be that. The plant may be it. But the word of God stands forever. And so that word, that same word, is the kind of joy. And when you find it, and eat it, meditate on it. Believe it. Make it your own. Is that that one is able to introduce joy into your heart? So I see everyone right now. And that sorrow is covering. I said, the joy is restored. The joy of the Lord is restored. Into your heart. At this moment. In the name of Jesus. Receive back your door. Because God always wants us to be joyful. God always wants us to be joyful. You know, devil is a great star, great star. The devil is the number one four one nine. As they say in, 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 in Nigeria, you know, everyone is like, involved in town. We say it's four one nine, the four one nine person. Because there's, an, there's a law that says your four one nine that talks about issues of town. So we always refer to everyone is a four one nine. So devil is the number one four one nine. He wants to rob people of their joy. Because he doesn't want them to take what belongs to them. You know what that was saying? He says in Isaiah, He said, with joy, you shall bring that water from the world of salvation. So, when the devil targets your joy, he is targeting your testimony. He is targeting your deliverance. He is targeting your progress. So, I said, your joy is destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Remember, I said, shortly, the phone lines will be open. And you can call. And the number you call to is 4479 7846 Of course, you have to put plus behind it. That's UK line. Then you can also use plus 324 3786 so from anywhere you are hearing me, from the end of the world, you can call that line and speak to me and I'll pray for you. Remember, we are on higher international radio, UK. And the person that is speaking with you is Pastor John Cabri of World Life United Church, also known as Sovereign Lord Worship Center, is Adam. Praise the Lord. So, the one can be enjoyed. What else can this word do for you? God's word is a strengthener. That's the sixth point I bring to you. God's word is a strengthener. In the catch of the two, verse two says, it says, and the three enter into me, when it take unto me, and set them upon my feet, and I hear him that speak unto me. The word of God gives strength. No, in the world, we all need strength. There, there are many situations that make you to want to give up. You want to throw in the toy. And say, I'm not it's over. Uh, let me hand it. Uh, the, 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 the suicide rate is increasing. 
Il dit, c'est pour nous assurer du carillon. Et il nous bloque, et il dit, I can't go for that. I can't go on like this. They want to pack up with the marriage. The divorce rate is going higher. The rate is going to climb in higher. I can't stay with that man again. I can't stay with that man again. Then the word of God gives strength to carry on with opposition. That, no, you know, the Bible said, no! The righteous swore there several times. He let me rise up again. That kind of word that gives you strength. The Bible says in Proverbs 4, 18, he said the path of the job is like a shining light that shines more and more of the perfected. So that makes you have hope. So say, oh, I can't go forward. The Bible says I can't go forward. So you begin to receive strength. But it's not time for you to give up. It's not time to give up. Remember that wise man said, he said, quit as you win, and we are going to quit. So you don't quit because the word of God gives you strength in your inner man to go on. And that is what is coming to you. There's the seventh point where we go to head it before people start calling in. For as many that have prayer points or canceling. Now, God's word is executed as intended. God's word is executed as intended. When God writes as he has written the Bible, everything of that of the word must be fulfilled. In Isaiah 55, verse 10 to 11, the Bible says, He said, As the rain comes down, and the snow from heaven, and the sun is not there, may what's like the head, and make it the green spot and God, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. He said, So shall the word that goes forth from out of my mouth. It shall not return voice, but it shall accomplish that which I think. And it shall prosper in the thing where I saw it said it. When the world said it's what, that word cannot go back to the void. It will accomplish that which he has sent that word to accomplish. The word of God has come to you this must be. And I say that word accomplish that which God is as intended concerning you. I said this year, 2018, is your year. In this ministry, God told him, told us. He said, this year is my relation to higher grants. And I see that become your question. Because you are listening to me. I said, that also become your question. This month, he told us, it's the thing for this month of February. He said, these are a month of encounter with the divine neighbors. So I see you encountering your divine neighbors. Right now in the mighty of Jesus. I see you encountering your divine path right now in the mighty of Jesus. As you are hearing me, the word of God is eating you. And I see that word beginning to fashion the way out for you. I, I said it does not matter the temptation. He said in every temptation, God will make a way of escape. I see the word of God making the way of escape for you right now in the name of Jesus. I said, as I'm speaking to you, believe not only me, you are hearing my voice, but the first night that is talking to you is Jesus himself. Because I would say the things of God speak at you off. And the God gave up to them. He said, when they bring you before people, he said, don't be, don't, don't be too afraid, don't be too thinking, what will I say? He said, because at that moment, I will give you what to speak. And the word of God said to me, he said, open your mouth wide, I will feel it. So, as I am opening my mind, the word that is coming out, believe it, it is coming away from you, from the personality called Jesus. Jesus is speaking to your life right now, as you are hearing me. Jesus himself is speaking into your life, in the name of Jesus. So, I see a dramatic turnaround for everyone listening to me, in the name of Jesus. I promise her, I said before the next time we meet, you have a testimony to tell. In the name of Jesus. Right now, you can call the new life. I'll be glad <laughs> to speak the word of God into your life. I'll be glad to pray for you. Because that is what I'm trying. And that's what God told me to do. I said, the three of us are for me. Because I'm not telling me. 
So please go outside this one little box. He has we have anointed me. So make sure that joy is exchanged for the sorrow of people. Uh, so I see some questions out there right now. So you can call the studio line and I will speak to you. I will pray with you. In the name of Jesus. Remember, this is the word of God. It's coming to you live from Iowa Radio International, based in UK, the other kingdom. And the person that is speaking with you today is Pastor John Harry from One Life International Church, also known as the Sovereign Lord Worship Center, based in Ibadan, Nigeria. So I'm expecting your call. I'm expecting your messages. So as you call, God visits you. I believe you have heard what I've said so far about the power of the Word of God. That is what we're going to be doing on this session. I'll be coming and I'll be speaking the undiluted Word of God. I'll be speaking that Word of God to you that is able to bring positive change to your life, to your destiny, to your career, to your marriage, to your family life, to your health. Everywhere you need help, I see the word of God bringing that help to you. In the name of Jesus, I see that word of God bringing help to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, that word is powerful. That word is as can accomplish anything. Can accomplish as it is intended. The word of God, you know, is called the commandment. It's called the commandment. And so the word of God is the commandment of God. I you know because God is not a bigger commandment. It cannot be a success. In fact, Bible told us, Bible tells us, in Psalm 103, verse 20, that there are angels that are akin to the voice of his word. The voice of the word they are to is the voice of the word of God. So as they speak it, the word, the word, the, the angels go forth to accomplish it. So the angels have been sent forth. In, so where you are right now, the angels have been sent forth to bring your answer. As they brought the answer to Daniel, the old Daniel below, the heart, you have set your time, you have set time out to seek God. He said, the power of God will bring the answer to you. I see you receiving the answer right now in the mighty of Jesus. I see someone there listen to me, receiving answer from heaven. In the name of Jesus, I see transformation happening. I see changes taking place. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, like I said, we are on Iron Radio International, UK. And the preacher that is bringing the word of life. I have a mandate. God told me. He said, I want to use this to light of the word. Of course, what are you going to use is the word of God. And that's the word of God I brought to you. God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Praise the Lord. Father, thank you for this listening. God be with us until we meet again. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Praise God. What a wonderful day. What a wonderful preaching from the man of God from Ibadan, Pastor John Cadre. The words of life has been spoken to everyone's life. Don't forget to join him again every week on AYO Radio UK. Thank you so much for listening and have a lovely day. Please don't touch the dial because more program coming up.